October when the worlds are interwoven by Cherokee Billy. This dimension that we live in and the spirit world meet in October. This is the time that the veil that separates us thins. This has been known throughout history. This is one of the reasons that nowadays there is a celebration in October called Halloween. Originally this was known as Samhain, a Gaelic festival held on October 31st to November 1st. The Irish name Samhain is derived from Old Irish and means summer's end and it also means November. It marked the end of the harvest and the end of the lighter half of the year and the beginning of the darker half. Halloween started with the ancient Celts. All Hallows Eve, which became the word Halloween, was the last day of their year. They believed November 1st, All Saints Day, was the start of the new year and because it was winter it was the darkest time of the year. On this one night, October 31st, they believed spirits, ghosts, goblins, and fairies came down from the hills into the towns. Some people believed if you left treats on the front porch for the spirits and ghosts, this would make them happy and they would not hurt you. This is a time when the veil separating the physical realm from the spirit realm is thin, allowing us to communicate, feel, or sense our loved ones who have crossed over into the summer land. It is a time to honor all those who have walked this sacred earth before us and thank them for their knowledge we carry forth in our hearts and in our veins. More people die in the month of October than any other month of the year, and I believe this has to do with the fact that we are closest to the spirit world and it's much easier to cross over at this time. Thin places is an ancient term used by the indigenous people of Ireland long before the Celts arrived. It's a reference to a site where the veil that separates the physical world from the eternal world is thin, where two worlds are interwoven. So a person standing in a thin place could be touching both worlds simultaneously, where we can sense God's presence, usually outdoors where water and land meet or land and sky come together. It is a day of remembrance of your ancestors and for those family members who have passed over. Set an extra plate at the supper table during the month of October and especially on the night of the full moon in October 31st to honor those loved ones who are no longer with us. We honor our dead and we take on the incarnation of that which we desire to be. We celebrate the last of the Great Mother's yearly bounty and commend ourselves for a job well done. It is a good time to release the old with the burning bowl ceremony. Now begins the time of preparing for the Great Mother's rest at Yule. This is a time when the laws of time and space are temporarily suspended. It was said that during Samhain, the veil between this world and the afterlife was especially thin or lifted entirely. The Celts felt that during this time they were privy to supernatural and otherworldly knowledge. It was a world filled with the forces of, na of magic, a night of mystical glory. It was referred to as time which is no time. It was very magical but also very dangerous. My advice is always to do spiritual protection on you before honoring or trying to communicate with the deceased. So many people watch television programs nowadays where a psychic medium attempts to communicate with a loved one and they make it look quite easy. In reality, this is a serious thing to do and not to be taken lightly. Our world of instant everything makes people want direct communication with a loved one as though they were sitting around the dinner table talking it does not work that way. Your loved ones will communicate when they feel ready. The spirit world is not something you can control or manipulate. You have to always cover yourself with the divine white light and trust that whatever spirit feels is needed will come through at the right time. Just so you know, I'm neither witch nor Wiccan and I wouldn't know what to put in a cauldron besides soup. 
What I am is a spiritual person. I like to think of this time of the year as a sacred time to honor my dearly departed and to seek a closer relationship to the Creator. I always sense the presence of the other worldliness at this special time of the year and I give thanks. If you would like to connect with the deceased loved one during this special time, my guided journey into spirit is for you. I take you into the spirit world safely where you can talk directly with your loved ones and bring you back safely with the answers you needed. Click on the link at the bottom of this video to learn more about this special process. May you be blessed now and always. Thank you for listening. This is Cherokee Billy.